Since uh, France is the uh, presidency of the COP21 negotiations uh, dealing with the climate change issue, which has to come to a final agreement on the post-2020 agenda, uh, France is conducting now informal ministerial sessions on uh, the different aspects of the agreement that we have to ultimately come to uh, later this year in Paris. Uh, so, and um, Minister Fabius is the uh, presidency of this uh, session. So he has invited ministers from different countries, including us, to uh, attend the session, to take part in the informal discussions on uh, different aspects of uh, the uh, agreement, uh, the challenging, the pressing issues that still exist. Uh, it's an important agreement because it's a multilateral uh, mechanism to ensure that uh, global warming is curbed. Uh, global warming is a serious challenge. It is perceived by many as an existential threat to the future of life on planet Earth. Uh, so it's a very, very important issue, uh, and uh, countries uh, are all concerned about the impacts of climate change, including Iran. Uh, we are now in Iran experiencing uh, what many believe uh, are already the uh, effects of climate change on our uh, rainfall, on our uh, yearly precipitation, on uh, the temperatures, the increased temperatures that we're experiencing in Iran. So uh, it's a very important issue, both the mitigation of greenhouse gases, but also the adaptation issues are very important for both developed and developing countries. Uh, we have both expressed hope that uh, this, this agreement will lead to a full implementation and uh, I hope that uh, we'll be able, uh, Iran will be able to play a proactive role uh, in not only in the regional affairs that we have, uh, particularly in terms of promoting peace and stability uh, in the Middle East, in West Asia, but also at the international level in areas like uh, climate change, uh, international issues which are of importance for the future of our humanity. We have a national debate on the issue, but there is a general consensus uh, to move ahead uh, to protect the rights of the Iranian nation and to work to implement this uh, agreement in an equ equitable and balanced manner. And uh, I think that uh, uh, the parliament is very interested to be engaged, as well as uh, different political groups. They voice their views, uh, both uh, in agreement and some in criticism. Uh, but in general, even those who criticize uh, the deal, they uh, believe that it should be uh, implemented in a balanced and equitable manner. Iran has uh, indicated uh, its position against any form of terrorism and extremism. Uh, President Rouhani started an initiative called WAVE, the World Against Violence and Extremism, even before the emergence of ISIS. Uh, ISIS is uh, fabricated in the name of Islam and many believe that we need to reclaim the religion and uh, it has nothing to do uh, in practice with the authentic teachings of Islam which are teachings of compassion and dignity. But uh, the reality is that uh, the world needs to take a decisive action against uh, extremism, against terrorism. And uh, I think that uh, Iran has been playing an important role in that regard and uh, is ready to continue its uh, role and use the influence it has, the uh, leverage that it has uh, to promote that peace and s prosperity uh, in this part of the Could world. Could that happen hand in hand with the U.S. potentially after this deal? Uh, I think that that's too early to decide th on the strategy, the exact strategy that would be taken. But I think that Iran has been playing uh, a major role and is willing and is working with different countries in the region. Uh, Foreign Minister Zarif has been visiting uh, different uh, countries, both in the Persian Gulf but also in the Middle East, and uh, discussing also in North Africa, uh, discussing issues of mutual interest.
We don't do have our national um, social media like Klub, uh and uh, Instagram is also available in Iran. And uh, we have a lot of young people engaging in the social media and expressing their views. And uh, I have actually, I'm posting regularly both on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, on Klub. So I use both the national um, uh, media, which are available, as well as the international media. And I think that it's an important way uh, to communicate and to engage. Uh, it's an interactive way to engage with the young generation, particularly on issues which are of utmost interest for them, environmental issues, uh, deal with their future. And uh, they're very interested both in uh, what we're doing to protect our natural environment, but also in uh, what ways they could also take part in protecting the environment. And so uh, it's a very interesting interactive dialogue on the social media that we have.